Hey guys, this is Joe Burnich with Big West Marketing, and we empower small businesses to succeed online. And we do that by simplifying digital marketing. Okay, and so what I want to do in this video is talk about how to do marketing for rug cleaning companies. So specifically for rug shops. Okay, so if you're a serious rug cleaner and you have like a retail location, you have a cleaning plant, then this video is for you for the high end stuff for the high end rug cleaning companies. That's what I made this video for. We've been working with a lot of rug cleaning companies lately. I've got a lot of insights on what works and more importantly, what does not work. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Let's get started right now. Okay, so before we dig into the nitty gritty of marketing stuff and get all that stuff simplified and easy to understand, before we do that, let's talk about the main motivation for doing, you know, marketing. Okay, so of course we want to, you know, grow our businesses and we want to make more money. That's obvious. We all want that. Okay, uh, we don't need to talk about that. I want to talk about when I had my service-based business back in 2009 up here in beautiful Missoula, Montana. I had a couple competitors that were driving me crazy. They were always undercutting my prices. They were. Uh, always like one of them had a similar business name and so I'd be getting calls from people saying you know why didn't you show up yesterday you know why'd you do bad work and I want my money back and all this stuff it always came back to this guy I even had a bad Google review put on my my Google account because uh, of this guy and but but it was this whole idea of these guys that were doing shit work okay and were undercutting me, and basically it was, it was like a threat to my business. You know, the way I looked at it, I had a new family, a new business, and this guy, like what if my business fails because of, of one of these guys doing their, playing their game? So what I wanted to do was build like this moat around my castle. I wanted to build a wall around my business so I can make sure that, I, that people know that I, I provide the top quality work in town, okay? And as a rug cleaner, I'm sure you can understand this because you're up against, you know, not only other rug cleaners, if you have other high-end rug cleaners in your town, okay, you're not only up against that, but you're up against like, like the low-end guys, like the carpet cleaners that just go and, you know, spray and suck, you know, rugs in people's homes, charge rock bottom prices, you're going up against, competing against that kind of stuff. So what we want to do is create, our, create ourselves using marketing, Create like a moat around our castle to show we are the best in town. Let the bottom feeder companies work with the bottom feeder clients, okay? What we want to do is use marketing to get the top quality clients and, and, and express to everybody, show to everybody, prove to everybody in town that we're the top quality guys. We do what we say we're going to do, all that good stuff, okay? That we're the most ethical, honest, most straightforward company. Now, if you are a bait and switcher or one of these bottom feeders, you're probably going to watch this and turn it off because this is not going to resonate with with you. This is for the high-end quality guys, the quality rug cleaning companies. All right. So that being said, check this out. Okay. I made this cool little graphic here. I call it the complete solution and it's all about Google. Now, why am I talking about Google? You might not like Google. Okay. I have issues with Google myself, but let's be honest. When people are out there looking for rug cleaners, they're going to Google. Okay. They're going to Google. Somebody in your town is using Google for rug cleaning to make some serious money, okay? And if you're not one of them, then you need to be, all right? Now, why am I not talking about Facebook and social media and all this other stuff, okay? The reason is, is because when you're using that kind of marketing, you're shoving stuff in people's faces while they're trying to talk to their friends or look at funny cat videos, all this kind of stuff. I, I don't want, you can get jobs that way. You can get work that way. You can get exposure, branding, all that good stuff. If you want to put time and money into that, fine. I like to put time and money into something where people are looking for me. Okay. So that's why I like Google. Okay. And, that, and we work with a lot of rug cleaners specifically with Google. Let me explain to you exactly what, why this works. Okay. So if you look at the wheel here, we got Google SEO. That's where if somebody types in, you know, rug cleaning, your city name, you show up in like the map section. You can get a ton of work off that and quality work, you know, if it's done right, if it's done correctly, okay? 
The next thing over is Google AdWords. Now, Google AdWords is more expensive, but it's short term. You can rank in lots of different cities and you can get stuff quick. It is more expensive because you're paying per click. But the thing is, most people do AdWords wrong. Even the so-called experts out there that charge a boatload of money, they are doing AdWords wrong. I'm gonna show you the correct way to do AdWords, the correct way to do SEO so that they work together, work in conjunction to make you money so you're not spending a ton of money on this stuff because you can burn through money quick as you probably have tried or, or, or have heard. Okay, below, down below there, this is actually very important too. Google reviews. This is the third part of this circle that most people kind of don't put a lot of time and energy into, but if you've got your SEO done correctly, you got your AdWords done correctly, and you have the most five-star reviews in your town, it's gonna double, triple, 5X, even 10X the power of SEO and AdWords, okay? That's how important Google reviews are. Have you ever consulted Amazon reviews before purchasing a product? Have you ever consulted Yelp or Google before choosing a, to use a business? We all have, okay? People are doing that with your business and, and hopefully you've got more reviews than anybody else. If not, I'm gonna show you how to get the most reviews and how to do it in, an, in a fairly easy way, okay? It's, it, this is gonna be cool stuff. So, but most importantly, what I wanna talk about is all three of these things depend on a website. So look at the middle there. You're gonna see a smartphone. Notice I didn't put a big website there. I put a smartphone. I don't know if you knew this or not, but the world is kind of all on smartphones these days, okay? They're not on their computers. 80% of the people that see your website online or see your profile online, they're on their smartphones. So why, do, why are experts and web designers, possibly yourself, spending most of your time designing a website for a big computer? Yes, you wanna have a nice, big, beautiful site on your, on your computer, okay? But only 20% of the people are gonna see that. The rest are gonna see them right here on this guy. You're probably even watching this video on a smartphone. 80% of you are watching this video on a smartphone on YouTube or my blog or whatever, okay? So that being said, we need to, and, and, and so most people are like, oh, well, Joe, I've got a mobile-friendly website. All right, let me tell you something about mobile-friendly, okay? Just because it's mobile-friendly doesn't mean it's gonna get you work, doesn't mean it's gonna get you phone calls. Okay, I don't know about you, I don't wanna make friends with my website, I wanna get more business. I wanna build this moat and protect myself against all the bottom feeding, low balling, other competitors in my town. And I want you to do the same. So what I'm talking about is mobile first, okay? This is kind of a new term that's floating around out there, but mobile first has to do, has to do with designing a mobile website first and having big uh, tap to call buttons, tap to text, tap to schedule, at the top, bottom of every single page on your mobile website or your responsive website, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna show you examples of this stuff before and after shots so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's very simple stuff. It's a simple concept to grasp once I show it to you. So I'm gonna dig into all this stuff with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I created four different videos for all this stuff. Okay, SEO for rug cleaners, AdWords for rug cleaners, Google reviews for rug cleaners, and how to do websites correctly for rug cleaners. I got four other videos I want you to watch. These are simple, short videos, but they're gonna dig in and show you exactly what you need to do to do it right, to do it correctly, and then, and then what not to do as well. So watch those four videos. I put links to them below this video in the YouTube description, or if you're on my blog, they're down below the video there. Wherever you're seeing it, I've got these, video, these, these links to these other four videos for rug cleaners that I want you to watch. So let's get started with that. Now, if you're a client of Big West Marketing, all of this is taken care of for you. We like to make this as simple as possible for our clients so you can focus on what you do best. Now, if you are not a client of Big West Marketing, right now we are offering a free consultation up to 30 minutes. That's normally a $97 value, so take advantage of this right now. Just call or click on the link to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So, if you're tired of being confused and overwhelmed, then contact us today. Someone from our office will show you step-by-step -step what you need to do to be successful online. If you are ready for a real solution, contact us today.